what's up guys okay so hey Carla <laughs> get off my Instagram go we got about 30 people on here <clears throat> my voice is kind of gone so sorry about that but I figure I would uh, take this time to talk to you guys I haven't done a live video in a little bit and uh, yeah so if you guys didn't see I am now fighting November 30th on the Tough 28 finale in Las Vegas, which is amazing for a lot of reasons. I've actually, I fought in Las Vegas before. It was uh, when I took my short notice fight and got into the UFC. Uh, didn't go so well, but this time we got a full camp and uh, I'm a completely different person. That was uh, like six fights ago. So um, it's also awesome now that I'm more established and have more friends and teammates out here in Orange County. If anybody wants to come and support and watch it live, you guys can all travel out there because uh, if you guys don't know, around the globe here, we're talking, I don't know, uh, it's only four hours away. So I get to fight close by, basically uh, maybe the Honda Center. One day I might get to fight there some sometime in LA or something or Anaheim. but. Yeah, so that's that's fun. And then uh, my opponent, <clears throat> if you guys haven't seen, I made a post today. Uh, I've known for a little while, but as you know, or maybe you don't know, we're not allowed to talk about it until the UFC talks about it. So I was waiting for the right time to talk about it. And now uh, it's on. Her name is Antonia. Uh, don't get her confused with Valentina. It's her sister. Um, Muay Thai background. Good fighter, definitely. Uh, I watched her on the Contender Series. <clears throat> and uh, she actually fought one of my old teammates, kind of a teammate, uh, not someone I used to train with, but uh, a friend, definitely. And, uh, you know, I was impressed. I thought she had some good skills, but uh, I'm definitely glad to be welcoming her into the UFC for her first, uh, her debut fight for the UFC. It's going to be pretty fun. And, uh, yeah, I think, like I said, I think she's a tough opponent. I like fighting tough girls. I don't ever want to cherry pick or uh, sandbag. I'm not a sandbagging mother. I'm not. <laughs> uh, I want to look back on my record, you know, and look at my fight career one day and, and know that I actually fought tough cookies. So it's going to be fun. And uh, I don't know, buy tickets now. I know they're already on sale. If you guys want to come out or uh, just watch it on TV, who cares? I don't even care if you root for me. But, uh, but yeah, just tune in and support the sport. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, so I'm going to be... Uh, out there with my people. i um, actually headed to Classic Fight Team, which is in Fountain Valley now. Uh, Classic Fight Team is my Muay Thai gym with Tyler Wombles. I, uh, I train now with Black House, uh, Kenny Johnson and Kevin Casey and uh, those people. I just started there and those guys have got some really great technique. A lot of people are talking about how my wrestling will be the deciding factor in whether I win or lose this fight and uh, I don't know how the fuck I'm holding this. But, uh, <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so I'm um, getting my grappling in. I'm always uh, always repping 10th Planet. Always get it mixed up. I'm fly backwards. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, do you guys have any questions? I'm really fucking stoked about it. <laughs> I'm uh, really stoked about this fight, but uh, let me answer some questions. I haven't been paying attention. I've just been talking away. Okay. Um, do you guys have any questions? Uh, you can kick my ass for sure, okay. <laughs> What's your biggest advantage against Antonia? Uh, yeah, so I just talked about it. I think it's going to be the grappling. I mean, it kind of seems like an obvious advantage that I have, but who knows, maybe she's got some awesome grappling in her back pocket that nobody's seen yet. To be honest, she's got um, six pro fights. She's undefeated, but it's been in a long time frame. Uh, I think she actually went pro like back in 2002. I don't even know what the fuck MMA was back then, to be honest. Uh, but uh, it doesn't mean shit, so uh, a lot has happened since then. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be the grappling, to answer your question. You were one of the few who was willing to fight Fallon Fox. You never backed out. <laughs> yeah, um, I will never say no to a fight, you know. I know there are definitely smarter fights where you could pad your record, I guess you would say, but I ain't about that life. <laughs> Let's see. Um... You're my favorite fighter in the UFC. Thank you, Ryan Da King. Da King, my crush. Thank you, Martinez Carts. Uh, you guys are just complimenting me. Ask a question. 
Um, any chance you'll come and train again in at TriStar with K Kajan? Uh, yeah, maybe someday. Kajan's the homie. Uh, that was fun. I, I loved Canada. Oh, man, Vancouver is freaking beautiful. I can actually run for days out there because I can breathe and there's no fucking smog and crap like out here in Orange County. I know where. But um, I would love to go back to Canada someday. Maybe after this fight. Who knows? Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. I love you. I love you guys too. Good fight. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. No more questions? Oh, sorry. Impossible Burger or Beyond Me? Ooh, it's a good one. I'm really not picky. Uh, if it's got no meat or no onions, I'll eat it. It sounds weird. <laughs> um, or cilantro. Cilantro's growth. <laughs> Shout out Dan Kenny, cilantro and onions. No. <laughs> uh, let's see. Coming to Arizona anytime soon? Come wrestle with me. Jiu-Jitsu. Oh, Courtney. I think that's Courtney, right? Uh, I would love to come to Arizona. I think that's where uh, Anthony Burchak and Mercedes and all them are out there. You could come out and do, do a seminar, maybe like 10th Planet Tucson or something like that. That'd be fun. Uh, hopefully you're, you're doing good, girl. Hello from Massachusetts. Never been there. Who would you like to fight next? Uh, after Antonia? I don't care, to be honest. I want a top 10 girl. I want someone who's going to fight, not run away. That's always annoying when they do that. You got to track them down. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't care. I'm just whoever's in my way to the belt. <laughs> uh, were you a fan of Pride? And are you a fan of Risen now? Rise and Risen. Yeah, I'm a fan of all fighting, really. Except uh, maybe that bare knuckle boxing stuff is kind of weird. Seems kind of, uh, I don't know, dangerous for the longevity of a fighter and your health and your body. and brain I don't know but uh I, I, I'm not not that I'm not a fan but I'm not gonna try and knock somebody else's sport let's see Carla would you <laughs> what did you say Carla what answer me what, what do you say uh, <clears throat> would you say that your support and the vegan for a week bet help Khabib win <laughs> I don't think I played a part in Khabib's victory to be honest uh, I would like to think that I did but I did not <laughs> Uh, let's see. You as cat. What does that mean? <clears throat> After your fight, what kind of shots can I buy you and Carla? Uh, let's do let's do lemon drops. I'm feeling I'm feeling fruity. Let's do lemon drops. <laughs> okay, Carla, what are you asking me? James Vick, catch us some meat and cook it for us. If Ash doesn't eat it, I'll eat her portion. I need that shit. Fuck, don't stop killing fucking animals, James Vick. God damn it. <laughs> Every time I fucking turn on my Instagram, this guy's shot another fucking poor animal. Uh, let's see. DC or Lewis? Always DC. What is your next tat going to be? Uh, <laughs> I wanted to get my booty finished. I got a tattoo on my booty <clears throat> by Ryan Jenkins when I was out in Vegas, but this motherfucker was out of town. Dang it. My voice is really gone. <clears throat> Why don't you call out the belt holder? Um, because uh, after this fight, I'll be on a two-fight winning streak, and you gotta earn your, you know, title contention, and, you know, I got, I got a little ways to go. There's people that are probably more deserving of a title shot before I am, and uh, I'm about putting in that work, you know, I'm not done fighting anytime soon, so, you know, it'll come, why don't, <laughs> please, take Carla out for her birthday, you bad friend, I know, oh, shout out to Carla Esparza, uh, she's turning fucking old at midnight, <laughs> It's her birthday on, at midnight, so everybody go give the Cookie Monster some love. <laughs> Please come to Firestorm by Earth Crisis next fight. Go come out to oh, Earth Crisis. Uh, are they hardcore? I don't know. I already got my next walkout song all planned. I can't wait. Let's see. Lewis or DC? I already said DC. Cool for answering my question. No problem. Thank you guys for all the good luck and compliments you're giving me. Oh, excited about your fight announcement. Okay, what's on your booty? Oh, uh, <laughs> sounds weird. Uh, I have uh, a rooster. 
I was going to say the other word for it, but <laughs> it goes um, on my side and it goes down onto my booty. But uh, you guys will never see that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Man bun. <laughs> man bun, yes or no. That is hard. I used to say hell no to the man bun, but uh, I have my mind has been changed recently. Let's say that. <laughs> Mm -mm. How do you feel 100% ready physically and mentally for this fight? I don't think I ever am 100% <laughs> ready physically and definitely not mentally. There have been many a fight where I ask myself, what the fuck are you about to do, woman? Like, you got your goddamn college degree. Why are you fighting for a living? And then, you know, whatever, the cage door closes and we do what we gotta do. And then I'm like, oh yeah. Because <laughs> it feels good. <laughs> feels good to win. Uh, you are so funny. You need to do more live media. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> uh, thank you, though, guys. You guys are awesome. <clears throat> who haven't you fought that you... Who haven't you fought that you haven't? That don't make no dang sense. Let me see your nails. That was a random question. <laughs> Uh, happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday, got Muay Thai later, gonna go punch and kick stuff, it's gonna be fun. Ashley, coming to Vegas in March for my birthday, love to meet you and Carla. Uh, I'm good on Vegas for a while, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but happy uh, early birthday. Who was the toughest fight for you? Harry Gates, I don't, you mean like who has been the toughest so far or who right now would be the toughest fight for me? Because those are two different uh, answers. <clears throat> oh, Earth Crisis is a vegan hardcore band from the 90s. Oh yeah, I've heard of them, yeah. <laughs> vegan and hardcore, sweet, two things I like. Do you practice BJJ outside of MMA and where? Uh, yes, I mean, I go to 10th Planet, and uh, you know, like I said earlier in my video, I've been uh, training at Black House, and Kevin Casey is the uh, jiu-jitsu instructor over there. Uh, I believe he is a black belt. Uh, I think he's maybe a Gracie lineage. I'm bad. I should probably know that. Um, but yeah, I love jiu-jitsu. Uh, grappling is my background, so it's all always fun to wrestle or grapple, but not gonna lie. I've been cheating on grappling with striking, and we are in a hardcore relationship. I love striking now, <laughs> but uh, but don't get me wrong. I'm going to grapple lots for this fight, guys. Don't worry. Who haven't you fought yet? What? I don't understand that question. Who haven't you fought yet that you want to that would be long drawn out? I don't know what that means. What do you think happened on Saturday? Uh, all the shenanigans? I think uh, I think Khabib won and lost his goddamn mind. <laughs> I don't think anyone should act like that. I'm a really big um, supporter of good sportsmanship. Uh, I know we are in this sport that's almost WWE-like, but I'm not down with that. I think there's a lot of kids and you know, or even just people like our age or older or whatever and uh, I think you should set a good example you should keep your head I mean you won you know like what well, maybe if you lost I can see you know the heartache or the pain or you know frustration getting to you but you won settle down man <laughs> whatever what degree do I have <clears throat> I have my bachelor's degree in uh, mass communications media studies I uh, Fun fact, I wanted to be an investigative journalist and I wanted to get all the hard-hitting news back in the day. And now I use that degree to punch people in the face. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, I would love, I would love to use my degree uh, after fighting. I want to stay in MMA and I, if I could combine the two, uh, like someone like Karen Bryan, I mean, shout out Karen Bryan, I think she's awesome, she's probably like a role model or someone I look up to, you know, I would love to be in the sport <clears throat> and um, I don't know, just use all my experience uh, to my advantage. Am I going to Surf City Blitz? Hell, yes I am. I won't be able to uh, party my socks off because I'll be in training camp, but I'm going. That's going to be an epic lineup. Rancid, fuck, 
social distortion. Uh, if you guys don't know about this, it's uh, called Surf City Blitz. Uh, I, I think I have tickets already, but uh, it's in Huntington Beach. It's a two-day punk rock on the beach festival. It's fucking gonna be epic. Mm, best spot in downtown Santa Ana? Oof. That's hard because I really like Copper Door because they have pool tables and I love playing pool. Uh, but shout out to Big Mike over at Proof. He's the homie and uh, that place is fun, so I don't know. I'm pretty easy to please. As long as there, there's no uh, unz, unz, unz music uh, or, yeah, maybe hardcore rap or something. I'm not not into rap, sorry guys. <laughs> did you enjoy the Beast interview after winning on Saturday? I did not get to see that. That guy is a character, and I'm sure it was entertaining as fuck. <laughs> hey guys. Who is your favorite fighter? Carlos Sparza. <laughs> Uh, it's hard to say that just because, you know, I know a lot of people in the game and I've been doing this for a while and I look up to different people for different reasons. Some people have great skills, some people have great heart, some people, you know, are characters. I mean, <clears throat> I'm not a Conor McGregor fan, but I respect what he's done for the sport, uh, the shit that's not bullshit, like potentially hurting people but you know the way he's talked and brought all the attention to the sport is awesome so I don't look up to him but I appreciate him for that who are you fighting next oh you are late to the party uh, it's on my page and I just ta uh, said earlier that I'm fighting Antonia Shevenko god I don't even know how to say her last name that's bad but uh, yeah Valentina's sister uh, she, I'll be her debut fight on the Tough 28 card in Las Vegas, November 30th. It's gonna be awesome. Favorite Will Ferrell movie? Oh damn, uh, I'm probably gonna forget. Uh, I mean, Step Brothers comes to mind. Obviously, it's awesome, but I feel like there's one I'd like more. I like Step Brothers more than Anchorman, that's for sure. I wasn't a fan of Blades of Glory, to be honest. But anyway, when is your next fight? Oh. <clears throat> Who has been your toughest opponent to date? I know it's weird, but uh, Fallon Fox. I definitely almost got knocked out in that fight. Uh, fuzzy, you know, like in the first round I get cracked and uh, had to keep it together there, but it was close. <laughs> <clears throat> what would be my dream fight if you could pick any opponent in the world? Even men? <laughs> It's not a dream to fight men, even though I guess technically I have before, but... <laughs> uh, mm, say pop your touchy. I don't know what that means, but I just said it. <laughs> Shout out for Merced. How should Dana clean this shit up in the UFC? Uh, I'm assuming you're talking about the shenanigans with Connor and uh, Habib. I mean... <clears throat> I don't know, to be honest. I mean, I think they want it to happen. I think it's, uh, I don't know, sales tickets and it's getting out of control, but I think they, they want it to happen, to be honest. Kind of sad. <clears throat> Who took you to the limit? <laughs> like in fighting? Uh, that's kind of like saying, like, who was my hardest opponent? I just said that fell box. When are you going to be on the Joe Rogan podcast? Uh, I would love to be on his podcast. He'd probably talk shit the whole time because that motherfucker is always talking shit on vegans. Uh, not even talking shit. He's just, you know. Yeah, he talks shit. Actually, I watched his new comedy special. <laughs> There's so much shit talking on vegans. <laughs> but I love it. I mean, whatever. You gotta, to be a vegan, you gotta have thick skin or you're gonna be angry all the time. <laughs> Original Mike's downtown Santa Ana. Uh, I've actually never been there. It's right by my house, kind of, but I've never been there. Uh, have you ever heard of the band Killed? Nope. Or Memories? Nope. Oh, are they good? What's up? How's Rocco? How, where are you, Rocco? What are you doing? <clears throat> oh, shout out to Suja. Spons sponsoring this live podcast. <laughs> When are you going to have a meet and greet and do autographs? I don't have anything planned. I gotta buckle down and just train my butt off for the next uh, 50 days, 49, and um, then maybe something afterwards. 
what is my walkout song gonna be? I don't tell you guys until after I walk out, so it's a secret. Let's see. Have you ever slept with a fan? Wow. Well, let's see who I sleep with. I hope they like me, so I hope they're my fan, technically. <laughs> Who is the worst UFC fighter? Well, that's me. I don't know. I mean, everybody on this level, I mean, if you're in the UFC, you're probably not a bad fighter. You know, you might be a poor representation or a weirdo, or, <laughs> but you're probably not a bad fighter. Uh, sheesh. Okay, I think I'm going to log off here. Okay, a couple more questions. <clears throat> Hi from Milwaukee. Come to RTV. I will be in there very soon. The new Raw Talent Boxing. Shout out Chewy Gutierrez. Uh, it's open in Santa Ana now. Go check him out. He's the best. You are looking so tough. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Last question. Let's see. Mm, how long have I been vegan? I actually got this tattoo on my wrist. It's so the year I went vegan. I've only been vegan since 2016, but before that I was a vegetarian for 10 years. So no meat for a while. Okay guys, well, I love you. This has been fun. I'm gonna try and do this more often. Uh, gotta go train, gotta win this fight. See you later. Ah, oh, ooh.